Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I decided I'm gonna start a little vlog. Um, right now I'm about to pump because I just put the baby in his swing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump real quick. And then for dinner, oh he's crying, I'm about to get him. But for dinner I'm gonna be making salmon with an arugula salad with mozzarella, balsamic, and tomatoes. So I'm gonna show you how I make that. So that's gonna be a good low carb dinner. Um, I've been eating a lot of carbs lately, which is good for my milk supply, but I am an oversupplier, so I kind of want to start to cut back on the carbs, and then hopefully it will help me shed some weight because I've started to work out more consistently again. I'm trying to get rid of some of this fat and build muscle, so I'm going to be making that for dinner. It's a nice low-carb dinner, and it's really easy to make. You just throw the salmon in the oven and then make the salad real quick. I have been loving arugula lately and with balsamic. It's so good. I've been so obsessed with it. I've been putting it on everything. Like last night, we had burgers, and I put tzatziki, arugula, and balsamic on it, and it was so delicious. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be making for dinner, and I'm going to share that with you on how I do that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. I just finished pumping, and this is all the milk that I got. I pumped for about 20 minutes, and this side is from my right side, which you can see is definitely the stronger side, and then this is my left side right here. So for the right side, this is uh, six ounce, This is 5 ounces. And then this is another ounce and a half, so about seven to eight ounces right here. And then this side did almost six ounces, so that is about what? I cannot do math. It's about like what? 14 ounces almost. And it's like, what time is it? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Usually I make the most milk um, in the morning time between five in the morning because that's when i usually wake up to pump because that's when he wakes up to feed again at five so i pump at five and then again around at nine and those i usually get like my one side i get like 10 and then the other side i'll do like seven so it'll be like seven it'll range from like 15 to 20 ounces which is a lot of milk so i'm gonna go ahead and put these in bags and then at the end of the day i like to freeze my milk or every like two days i'll put the leftover milk in the freezer but i usually put them in the bags because these ones you can't store in the refrigerator i have like the 10 ounce ones that you just pump directly into it and then you could store it in the fridge but i have like two of them in there right now which tells me that i have enough milk for the rest of the day for him so i can just go ahead and put these in the refrigerator refrigerator and get it ready to be frozen tonight I'm getting ready to make dinner, so I'm going to start with the salmon first. I just have the salmon, olive oil, Old Bay. This this isn't Old Bay. It's called the Best of Old Bay Seasoning, Best of the Bay Seasoning. It's from Wild Fork. It's a fish seasoning. And then some garlic powder, black pepper, and then I'm going to put some lemon on top. I'm also going to put butter on top as well. I just need to get that out. But this is everything that I'm going to be using for the salmon. I'm, I'm going to cook it in the oven. I usually do it in the air fryer and I make a blackened seasoning. But I'm just going to keep it simple tonight. And that way I can use it to make the sushi rolls tomorrow with it. So I added the olive oil, the lemon juice, the butter, and all the seasonings. I added onion powder and paprika as well because I felt like I needed a little bit more. So I'm going to put it in the oven at 425 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm going to start on the salad.
ahead and add in some olive oil and then the lemon. Do a squeeze of the rest of the lemon, the other half of the lemon that I used for the salmon. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the tomatoes and the mozzarella. I might add a little more arugula, depending on how this looks. Yeah, definitely, actually, I think it's good. Yeah, it's like perfect. Okay. So now, I'm just gonna add a little bit of seasoning. I wish I had some basil, but I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of this salt-free garlic and herb seasoning. Also, I don't have any balsamic glaze, so I'm just gonna use this balsamic vinegar. So here's the salad. It is really easy to make, but it's so delicious. I've been loving arugula and balsamic lately. So this is going to go really good with the salmon. And then I think I'm going to top the salmon off with some tzatziki. And I'll show you the salmon once it's done. Here is the salmon. It just got done and it's really good with the salad. And then I just added a little bit of tzatziki sauce on the side to dip in with the salmon. I'm going to go ahead and eat. It looks so good. It's been like an hour since I made dinner and I still haven't eaten yet because he's just been so cranky lately. I think he's going through a regression or a growth spurt. And he's been like taking, a, he like takes a good nap in the morning. But after that, it's like 30 minute naps or he skips naps. So he's just like overtired at the end of the day. So the last hour, it's been a struggle. But I just put him in his bassinet and I think he's starting to fall asleep or at least he's not crying and then i gave him about five ounces so he's full and everything so hopefully he falls asleep soon but i just made some spicy rosé it's just rosé with jalapeno and it's definitely needed right now it is it is so good and i leave the seeds in there because i love spicy i know a lot of people take them out but I leave him in there, so I'm just gonna drink this and eat my dinner finally, and I hope he stays asleep and doesn't wake up. And then I have to pump. I'm just having one glass, so you don't have to pump and dump if it's one glass, but if I have more than one, I will dump the milk. And that's another thing, like, I am grateful for an oversupply. I'm not saying, like, oh my god, I can drink so much because I have an oversupply, but it's nice because I don't have to worry about dumping or if it spills. I know, like, that bothers people. If you're not oversupplying, that's definitely like a crappy thing, like to spill milk. So I am grateful that I have an oversupply, even though it is very uncomfortable at times. I am grateful because I don't really like stress about things like that. Like sometimes I spill milk and I don't have to like be like, oh my God, how am I gonna feed him? So that's something that's nice about having too much milk. It's definitely better to have too much than not enough. But obviously if you don't have enough like use formula or if so i was saying like i'm definitely happy that i have an oversupply and it's better to have too much than not enough but obviously if you don't make enough milk or if you don't make milk at all or if you simply don't want to breastfeed your baby like there's nothing wrong with formula i remember when i was in the hospital and like the lactation consultants would come in and they would be like like i was like my baby wasn't eating like he wasn't latching so I was like, he wasn't pooping, which was an issue because he had jaundice and he, in order to get rid of jaundice, they have to poop. But the lactation consultants would come in and see that I was giving him bottles and be like, breast is fast, like you really need to try, you need to make sure they get on the boob, like there's nothing better for them than the boob. But I'm like, my baby is literally not eating. He's not pooping. I don't care about what you think like i'm giving my baby food so he can be full and grow and be healthy 
like that was so crazy to me it's like i literally just went through such a traumatic event and you're gonna come here and stress me out even more uh -uh. and but i haven't used formula since the hospital we used to like for the first two days when we got home before my milk came in and then i haven't used it since because i've had such a good supply which i'm really grateful for i'm definitely going to try to go into like six months and then use the milk that i have in the freezer but honestly like as the months are going by it's only been like two and a half but like the last two and a half months as time's gone by it's definitely gotten more easier and more manageable the first few weeks i was like f this like i'm not doing this i'm over it i hate breastfeeding i hate pumping like i can't wait to switch to formula but now like i've definitely gotten to a more routine more of a routine with it and i don't have to do it like every two to three hours like i was before and oh the game changer i don't have to pump in the middle of the night like all night i pump before i go to bed at like 10 or 11 and then i don't pump again until around like Five, in the, five or six in the morning and that has changed my life like i think that's the only reason why i'm not losing my mind anymore and he's crying but yeah a fed baby is a happy baby and a healthy baby so do whatever you want and don't and don't let anyone make you feel bad about it <laughs> 